Awe, and welcome to another episode of Venezuelanism's Bitchin Vegan Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make simple and tasty vegan bolognese. Okay, so here are the ingredients. What we've got is three small carrots, but you can use one large carrot or one and a half medium carrots. It's all good. And we've got two tablespoons of sugar, adds a little bit of sweetness to the sauce. And then we've got a tablespoon of soy sauce. I recommend Healthy Boy. Healthy Boy is the gold standard. Hashtag not sponsored. Okay. And then we've got some mixed herbs, oregano and basil, mostly in here. Um, it's better to use fresh herbs because fresh herbs just taste better. But uh, you want to add about a tablespoon of these dried herbs. Fresh herbs you can add liberally as much as you want, really. And we've got some garlic here. You want to add um, dried garlic, about one teaspoon, it's fine. Fresh garlic, uh, two teaspoons, and then you'll be good. We've got uh, a medium sized onion here, and we've got a tin of tomatoes. Fresh tomatoes are a better, again, because the, it just improves the flavor, but this is what we have here, so it's what we're going to be using. And then some olive oil, one tablespoon of olive oil, because you want to keep it pretty lean, so that you don't end up too fat. What about the mince? Oh yeah, the mince. <laughs> I almost forgot. This is where the heart of your sauce is. The heart of the fucking flavor. This is Le Bon Végétal. It looks empty. It looks empty now, but you will see that there's some beautiful shit inside. Okay, so this is 200 gram. 200 gram of mince is good. And if you want to make uh, more, then you can just double the portion or you can double everything and you'll have more bolognese for a fat family. Unbreak my heart, say you love me again. No, seriously, guys, if your onion doesn't make you cry, then the flavor is not intense enough and the quality is shit. So always get an onion that makes you cry, it makes your fucking heart. Don't be sad. I started off by chopping up the carrots and the onion into fine pieces, and then what you want to do is add a tablespoon of oil to your saucepan and put it on medium heat and add the onions and the carrots. Once your onions and carrots are in, let them grill for about five to seven minutes. You can cover it up to speed up the process. Remember to keep stirring every minute or so, so the stuff doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. We're gonna make bolognese that'll bring you to your knees. Yes, please. No, I can't speak any Chinese. Once your veggies have finished grilling, what you wanna do is add the mince. Just gonna dump it in here. And every last bit, can't waste. Mm. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. So you just take the wooden spoon, you mix it, and you just spin it apart. Yeah, it's that. You cover it. Keep the heat inside. Just let it grow for another three to four minutes. Remember to keep stirring frequently so that the mix doesn't burn. After three minutes, you can add your soy sauce. And keep stirring for another two minutes or so. And then we're going to add the tomatoes. And now I'm going to add the tomatoes, the sugar, the garlic, and the herbs all in one go. If you had fresh garlic, you could have grilled that up with your onions. After you've added the last couple of ingredients, what you want to do is put it on a low heat and let it simmer for at least half an hour. I like to cook my bolognese for an hour. Alright, so the sauce is ready. It's cooked for about 45 minutes. I was very fucking hungry, couldn't wait anymore. And to finish it off, I'm just going to add a little bit of black peppercorn. Just adds additional flavor. And that's it. Bon appétit. Unfortunately, my friend, she doesn't know how to cook pasta. She'll take this cappellini, which is the fucking fine straws, and she turns them into spaghetti. That's how she cooks her pasta. Fuck al dente. <laughs> 